Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on signals and systems. In this video, we will consider operations on signals. Uh, the two signals x of t and y of t are given. This is x of t and this is y of t. And the task is to sketch x of t into y of t minus 1. So I need to sketch this signal. How does that signal look like? That is the task. Is that okay? So shall we proceed with? Before I actually proceed with, first I need to understand what are all the different operations involved in this. x of t, I need to consider the given signal itself. Then I need y of t minus 1. What is given? It is y of t. How do I get y of t minus 1? I need to shift the signal to the right by 1 so that I will get y of t minus 1. That is the operation on independent variable time. Later I need to multiply these two signals that is x of t and y of t minus 1. Once I get multiplied, I get the answer. How does that signal look? That is the task uh, I, uh, we are doing in this uh, numerical. Before I proceed further, I request everyone to subscribe to our channel NG Classes for more interesting videos on signals and systems. Yes, uh, let me st start sketching uh, the signals. X of t, I said it is as, as shown, uh, it, it, it will be like this and then uh, y of t. But what actually I need, I need y of t minus 1. So first uh, let me sketch y of t minus 1 with respect to t. How does that signal look like? I said it is a shifted signal to the right by 1. Before I proceed further, whenever uh, we are multiplying, we are adding, we are uh, subtracting, the best task is, the best procedure is, write those signals one below the other, so that the multiplication, the or whatever the operation we are doing, it becomes much easier for us to understand. Yes, with that we will proceed further. I said, uh, we are considering y of t and we are shifting it to the right by 1. How does that signal look like? The shape of the signal is going to be same, but the only thing is, it gets shifted to the right by 1. Are you, are, you, are you okay with this? It gets shifted to the right by 1. The limits are minus 2 to plus 2. I will add 1 to these things, so that it becomes minus 1 to 3. So these will be our new limit. This is where the signal exists. The shape, I said the shape of the signal is uh, going to be same. Uh, with that, let me sketch uh, the signal, shifted version of that signal. Yes. And here it comes to minus 1 till minus 1. And it is a constant minus 1 till 1. 1 to 2, the shape is going to be like this. And 2 to 3, it is going to be like this. It is going to be a constant 1, 2 to 3. And after that, I am going to get 0. Yes. Yes, almost done. This is how the shape of the signal uh, y of t minus 1 is. I said the, the limits get shifted to the right by 1. Minus 2 to plus 2 uh, were the original limits. Now they become minus 1, 2, 3 as we can see. Correct? The next task is I need to sketch the multiplied uh, versions of these two things. So how do I get that? Uh, we'll start doing that. Let me get uh, x-axis and y-axis. Yes. This signal, now I would call it as x of t multiplied with y of t minus 1. The signal has been drawn with respect to time t. Now we will consider the multiplication of those two signals and yes. Uh, how, how shall we multiply these things? We shall start from the extreme left. We shall start from the extreme left and we'll move on to the extreme right. So that is the best way to multiply any two given signals. Is that okay? So we'll do everything uh, limit by limit. Say for example, at minus 1, its value is 0. At minus 1, what is the value? I can take it as 1. 1 into 0, I'm going to get 0. So this is the point which I get at minus 1. Are you getting it? Similarly, moving further, yes, at 0. So here comes the difficulty. At 0, what is the value? Is that 0 or minus 1? I don't know. Again, at 0 here, what is the value? Is that uh, plus 1 or minus 1? What is the value? I don't know because it takes two values. So the best procedure is, I'm going to explain now. At 0, I'll t uh, uh, for x of t, I'll take the value as minus 1. Is that okay? 
as I'm moving from minus 1 to 0 at the 0th position, I'll take the value as minus 1. And when I start moving from 0 to 1 at the position 0, I'll take the value as 0. That is the best way to do it. So, and that is the trick uh, one should understand uh, uh, so that uh, we can get the answer very easily. Yes. Now, at 0, as I'm moving from minus 1 to 0, I'll take the value as minus 1. So, it is minus 1. At 0, as I'm moving from minus 1 to 0, I'll take the amplitude as 1. So, I'll multiply minus 1 and 1. So, that I'm going to get minus 1. Is that okay? So, try to understand this. So, I said I'll get the point minus 1. So, this I call it as minus 1. So, how does that signal look like? I need to join those two signals. Uh, I'll just join those two points. So, this is how it becomes. Correct? But 0, I'm not, uh, the procedure is not uh, uh, finished yet because it takes the different value. Now, Consider x of t, as I am moving from 0 to 1, at the position 0, I will take its amplitude as 0 now. Are you understanding? Previously I took it as minus 1, now I am taking it as 0. Now, at the position 0, as I am moving from 0 to 1, I will take the amplitude as minus 1. Are you understanding this? Previously we took it as plus 1, now I am taking it as minus 1. So, 0 into minus 1 is going to be 0. So, this is the point that I am getting at 0th position. So, how does that signal look like? Just join them. Uh, join those two points. This is how it looks like. Getting it? So, again moving further. Uh, till 0 we are done. At the position 1. At the position what is the value? It is 1. At the position 1 it is taking only one value. It is minus 1. Is that okay? So, at the position 1 it is taking 1 into minus 1. Very simple. So, it takes only one value. Uh, 1 into minus 1 is nothing but minus 1. So, this is the signal I am getting at 1. That is the point. Uh, previously, the point was at 0. So, now it has become minus 1. So, I will just join those two points. So, this is how I get the new signal. Getting it? Similarly, moving further, uh, check at the position 2. At the position 2, the amplitude is still 1 for x of t. At the position 2, for y of t minus 1, it has two values. One is 0, another is 1. So, which value I have to take? As I am moving from 1 to 2, at the position 2, I will take the amplitude as 0. Are you getting it? So, 0 into 1. So, that is the thing. Uh, it is not 0 into 1. It is 1 into 0. Because first I will consider x of t that is 1. Uh, y of t minus 1, I will take it as 0. So, 1 into 0, I am going to get it as 0. Are you getting this? So, I will take the point 0 here and I will mark 0 over here. And previously the point was at minus uh, 1. Now, it has become 0. So, I will join these two points now. This is how I get. Understanding? The process at 2 is not finished yet. Consider, at the position 2, I took it as 1. The amplitude is 1, it remains 1 only. Now, at the position 2, as I am moving from 2 to 3, its amplitude I will take it as 1. Are, are you understanding? Are you with me now? Previously, I took it as 0 as I was moving from 1 to 2. Now, as I am moving from 2 to 3, at the same position, I will take the amplitude as 1. So, 1 into 1, it becomes 1 only. Therefore, I get the point 1. So, I, it is taking two values, uh, that is 0 and 1. Getting it? So, that is the trick one need to understand. So, I will just join them. Yes, this is where it is supposed to be. Yes. Yes, I am getting it now, almost there. So, this is the point and uh, this I call it as the next point with amplitude uh, 1. Correct? Moving on further, the last value I need to sketch. At the position 3, its value is 0. At the position 3, what is the value? Is that 1 or 0? Which value I should take? As I am moving from 2 to 3, I will take it as 1. So, it is 0 into 1, I am going to get it as 0. So, previously the amplitude uh, was here, the point was here. So, now I got it at the 0th position. The next task is I just need to join them. So, if I join 
this is what I am going to get towards the end. Getting it? Uh, the, both the signals stop at 3, hence the multiplied signal is also going to stop at the position 3. 3 onwards everything is going to be 0 and minus 1, uh, minus infinity till minus 1 everything is going to be 0. So this is how the final signal x of t and y of t minus 1 looks like. Are you getting it? Uh, I hope you people have understood. If there are any doubts, please let me know them in the comment section. I will definitely answer those uh, doubts. Meanwhile, subscribe to our channel and classes for more videos on signals and systems. The only trick in this numerical is uh, which value I should con consider at the position 0, 1, 2 and 3. So, one, whenever it is taking two different values, which values I should take. That is the trick I explained. Uh, please follow that and you will uh, definitely understand and you can solve any numericals on these kind of uh, concepts. Thank you everyone for watching.